there are four operations which take place in a double ended queue add rear add front delete rear delete front first let me talk about adding from the rear this function will have an input variable giving us what is the element we have to add to the rear of the queue now the queue that I've already written the program for has an array of integer type. So I am going to be consistent with that example and take my element as an integer element. But in other examples, this could be of any data type. This function only adds to the rear of the queue and does not return anything. So it will have no return type. The first thing I must check when I am adding to a, the rear of the queue is I must check whether the queue is full. Now since I am only adding to one of the ends of the queues, I need to check if that end particularly is full. So when do we say that the rear of the queue is full? We say this when the rear is equal to the last index of the queue. In such a case, there is no scope for adding an element to this end of the queue because there are no more indexes beyond the last index of the queue. So if rear is equal to the array dot length minus one, which gives us the last index of the queue, there is no scope to increment rear and place an element there since there is no more indexes. And we say that the rear is full. We don't want to continue with our program. So we are going to return from the function. The next thing we must check is whether we are adding the first element to the queue. When we are adding the very first element to the queue, we will add that element to index 0. Now, when we add an element to index 0, the front will become 0 and the rear will become 0. This is a special case of addition of an element in which both the front and the rear are affected. In all other cases, when we add from the rear, only the rear will be affected because the, only the rear is going to be incremented each time. But for the very first element, when we are adding an element to index 0, the front will become 0 and the rear will also become 0. So this is going to be a special case when we add an element to the queue. So if front is equal to minus 1, this means if the queue is empty currently, and this element is going to be the first element in for which we add to the queue, what must I do? I'm setting front to 0. I'm setting rear to 0. I'm going to set the value of array at index 0 to the element. And I want to return from the function here because my work is done. I have added an element to the rear of the queue. So this is the special case of having the first element being added to the queue. Now, when we come here, we are going to deal with all other cases. These all ca of the cases are going to be all the normal cases. So, when I want to add to the rear of the queue, very simply I must increment the rear by 1 and then I must store the element in the array with index equal to rear. Now my work of the function is done and I can end the function. This is how you add to the rear of the queue. 
Now, let's look at how we add to the front of a queue. So the first thing we must check is whether the front is full. When do we say that the front is full? We say the front is full when front is equal to zero and there is no more space to accommodate another element at the end of the front. So if I had an array like this, so my front is going to be equal to zero. Now, when I want to add to the front, I will add to some space over here. But this space does not exist in the array because, well, there is the array ends over here. So the front is equal to zero. There is no, um, there is no opportunity for an element to be placed at the end of the front. So in this case, this is not possible. So we say that the front is full. So when front is equal to zero, the front is full. We don't want to continue with our program. So we return from the function. The next part of the function is quite similar to add rear. We want to check whether the element we are adding is the first element we are adding to the queue. So, if front equal to equal to minus 1, this means the queue is empty. So, the element we are adding is going to be the first element we are adding to the queue. In such a case, we make front is equal to 0, rear is equal to 0, array of 0 is equal to the element we have added the first element to the queue successfully and so we can return from the function. Now, when we come to this line of code, we are going to deal with all other cases. All of these cases are going to be the normal add front cases. So, in a normal situation when we want to add an element to the front of the queue, what we will do is, we will decrement front by 1 then we will store the element in the array of index front after this our work we had for the function is done and we can end the function